Chapter 1. How to Get Into Online Games There are many different types of entertainment available today. People might watch television, listen to music, solve puzzles, or create art as a hobby or entertainment. Other people enjoy playing games, either online or offline, in their free time. Some entertainment options do cost money, including online gaming. For those who are serious gamers, this can be overlooked, since gaming is a very important part of their daily life. Games Many of you have spent a considerable amount of money purchasing video games and consoles. Your first purchase may have even been one of those old consoles when you were younger, or you may have purchased multiple systems and kept up with the most recent available versions. Games are very entertaining, and everyone loves to play them because they are fun and challenging. When the first PlayStation console was available to the market, it made a huge change in the field of gaming. This was the first much-awaited 3D console, and it was very popular very quickly. Understandably, not everyone is able to purchase the latest console that arrives on the market. The systems can sell out very quickly, in addition to being very expensive. The price of a gaming system does not typically include the games themselves, and those games can be costly as well. In some countries, games are pirated, or copied illegally, and then sold for very low prices. Pirated games are designed so they are compatible with the latest gaming console. With the rise of the internet, online games quickly started to appear. These online games initially began with two-dimensional games and browser games. 3D games quickly followed. There are many different types of 2D as well as 3D online games, and some of these include role-playing, shooting, fighting, puzzles, and sports, just to name a few. The game types or genres have grown as games have evolved over time. A newer game genre, named multiplayer strategy games, also known as first-person shooting, simulation games, or massively multiplayer games, is now available. Perfect World is an example of a massively multiplayer online game. Massively multiplayer online games have made a huge impact on the online gaming world because this type of game lets you enjoy the game while also allowing you to participate in a virtual society at the exact same time. The virtual society aspect of the game is a main draw for people to play online games. These virtual societies area also attractive to gamers because of the potential to make or earn money through online gaming. These games and their virtual societies might offer tournaments or competitions where a player could earn money in real life. This additional perk can make a game even more popular and attract more players. Gamers A gamer and a player are defined in very different ways within the world of online gaming. Players are described as people who just play casually for strictly the entertainment value, while gamers, on the other hand, are addicted to the games and have a need to play them. In some countries like Malaysia, Korea, and the Philippines, gaming is considered to be a profession. A player versus a gamer is also defined by the amount of time and money that individual invests within their online gaming. Players typically do not spend an excessive amount of money on games, systems, or virtual items. In contrast, gamers see no problem in spending a large sum of money on such items in the name of online gaming. It may seem hard to believe, but there are actually people who spend thousands upon thousands of dollars on virtual or other gaming items. Individuals able to make such large purchases usually rationalize them saying that the items are worth it and necessary in order to become even stronger in the gaming world. For some gamers, gaming is a way to relieve stress, but for others, gaming can also cause a lot of stress on those who take the game very seriously. A gamer can easily tell a fellow great gamer by his or her own powerful characters within a game. The ability to identify great gamers as well as the overall number of gamers in a game is one of the strategies I use in making money playing online games. A game that has many gamers may be one which you can earn quite a bit of money. Virtual Society Now, you may be thinking to yourself, what type of people participate in virtual societies, like the ones existing in online gaming? Usually those participants are people who want to live within their imaginations and escape from reality by escaping into a virtual world and becoming citizens of the game world. Those individuals have created a temporary escape from their own life. Any virtual societies anyone may participate in are supervised by Game Masters. Game Masters are individuals hired specifically to apply the laws of the game, ensure activities within the online society are in order, 
Servers control the overall population of players in order to keep the games working smoothly. This escape into a virtual world isn't always such a bad thing. Some virtual societies can improve a personality of an individual or help that person communicate. A shy person could learn how to start being a more openly and friendly person by communicating with other individuals safely within the virtual society. Virtual societies can be a good way to meet and make new friends in a low-pressure environment and to continue enhancing social skills. Individuals with leadership and marketing skills could also benefit by either honing or sharpening their business skills in a virtual society.